In this video, we're going to talk about fillet welds and how the requirements stated within drawings are communicated to you as, as the user of that drawing. And this is in accordance with ISO 2553. Now, if you're doing your, say, CSWIP exams, you may also be referring to BSEN 22553. For the majority of it, this is the same, but 2553 is our most recent update. So the rules we're going to cover here are what's from the 2022 revision. ISO 2553 is separated into two main systems. So we've got system A and system B. System A is based upon the use of a dual reference line. So falls very much in with the old ICE EN ISO way of doing things. And group B is based upon a single reference line. So is to do more in line with an AWS 2.4 style system. This is the way that the ISOs are start to try and branch out and cover both sort of main nationalities of being uh, European and uh, American in, in their way forward. Every drone symbol has an arrow line, and that arrow line shall be touching the joint to be welded, and it will have a closed arrow head. Connected to that arrow line is our reference line or lines. Here we have a solid line, meaning the arrow side, and a dashed line, meaning the other side of the welding symbol. We can have a tail, and that tail will hold additional information such as welding processes or maybe closed to have documentation requirements. Here is an example of a fillet weld. So here we're saying place a fillet weld arrow side of this joint setup. Then this is our elementary symbol. Now the standard holds lots of different elementary symbols for different types of weld joints. And the idea is that this symbol will be a, like a simplified version, a simplified sketch of, of the joint you want to produce or the weld you want to produce. But of course, there's not a lot of information there. It's just put a weld in and off you go. So we may want to add additional information. So one of the first bits of additional info could be a cross-sectional area measurement. So here we're saying we would like a fillet weld with a leg length of eight millimeters. So the Z is eight millimeters, and that's leg length eight mil. If I had an A, that would be the throat thickness, and an S, would be the penetration bead. They're always lowercase letters and they go before the number. So it's leg length, eight mil, throat thickness, eight mil, penetration, eight mil. And the cross-sectional area measurements always go to the left-hand side of our elementary symbol. Now, that might be enough information, especially if you're gonna weld the whole way down the side of this fillet. But if we wanted to weld this fillet as an intermittent, we would have to add additional information. So here I have my linear measurements, and this goes on the right-hand side of the elementary symbol. So you can see from my drawing, this top-down view on the right, we've got 50 millimeter long welds with 25 millimeters between them and we have three welds in total. So the order would go number of welds times the length times the space between. So if I change that out there, I have three welds 50 millimeters long and 25 millimeters between them. And the spacing, the E value, is based from the end of the weld to the start of the next one. Now, if I wanted to produce a pure stitch weld, 
I could show something like this. So I want welding on both sides of the joint. So I have three welds at 50 millimeters on the arrow side and two welds at 25 millimeters long on the other side. And that would be shown very nicely like this. And you see we have this additional Z. It's called an elongated Z to show that those welds are staggered. If I also wanted to show a welding process, I could add that to my fishtail and that would drop in there. So all of these welds I want to have made using MMA or SMAW welding process, stick welding. And that is the end of our very quick video on how to show fillet welds using ISO 2553. It's a very quick look. Of course, we didn't cover everything, but hopefully that's enough to get you started. And uh, as always, stay safe and good luck with your studies.